There are certain brawlers and brawl stars that make you want to rage. Ones that when you load into a game, you know it's gonna suck. Not necessarily because they're great brawlers, but just because they're annoying as heck. So I put out a poll and I let it run for only 24 hours. And in that time, around 12,000 of you let your voice be heard and you cast your vote for the most annoying brawler in the game. And these are the results. Now, every brawler in the game got at least one vote. However, the one that got the least amount of votes was Rosa. Only one person thought that she was the most annoying brawler in Brawl Stars. One person. Yeah, you know who you are, although there'll probably be like 20 people in the comments be like, Oh, that was me. I voted for Ro No, you didn't. Stop lying. Now, there were 21 of the 78 brawlers that had less than 10 votes. So, yeah, these brawlers aren't very annoying. Now, of those, we have Ash and Bonnie, Janet, Penny and Max, Barley, Tara, Sam, Buster, Jean, Lola, Ruffs, Belle and Sandy, Carl, Pam, BB and Griff, Daryl, Gray and Bull. Now, all of these brawlers had less than 10 votes, and it's interesting to note that out of all of these brawlers, five of them are tanks. Now, apparently, people don't find tanks very annoying, or at least not the most annoying. Now, there is a clear-cut winner of this poll, like far and away. They got like 25% of the votes. Do you think you know who it is? I know who it's not, and that's this next set of brawlers who got less than 25 votes each. Now, in this group, who I'll just call somewhat irritating, we have Nani, B, Brock, Frank, Gail, and Colette, Nita, Colt, Chester, Gus, Eve, Byron, Jackie, Otis, and El Primo. And I already have my first beef with you all. B has to be one of the most annoying brawlers to face. I mean, I didn't vote for her, but I did consider it. Her shots just never stop, like ever. I personally think she should have been higher up on this list, but there are more vastly irritating brawlers to come, like this next group of brawlers who have more than 25 votes, but less than 50. Now in this group, we have Leon, Meg, Mandy, Jesse, Pearl, Bo, Lou, Stu, Sprout, Maisie, Angelo got 33 votes, and you haven't even played him yet, and then Poco, he got 42 votes. Like, Poco? What has he ever done to you? He deals up to 76 damage. What? I, I don't even know why you find him annoying. I mean, Bo, I get that one. Like, if I had a personal kryptonite, it would be Bo's mind. It's like I never see them go down, and then I'm just guaranteed to, like, home right in on them, and they're, yep. What do you know? I'm standing there shaking while the other team's killing me. That I get. I mean, even Lou, I feel that one, but Poco? Whatever. Now, next up, we have the brawlers who got between 50 and 100 votes. This is what I would call the, uh, I'm considering uninstalling the game now group. And in this group is where I place my vote. We have Grom, Doug, Mr. P, Rico, Chuck, One Button Amber, Ems, Buzz, Shelly Spike, Willow with 93 votes, Surge with 66, but my vote, who I voted for, got 61 votes, and that's Hank. Now, there's a lot of brawlers here that are just horrible to play against, from Amber, who just runs out there holding down a button, thinks she's good, to the endless Mr. P porters. I mean, you got Mr. Wait in the bushes until my super's ready, and then win the game for doing nothing the whole time. However, Mr. Shrimp in a tank with his huge bubbles, just like always spinning in circles, stays behind a wall the entire time, is absolutely annoying to play against, but also mind-numbing to play with. Whew, okay, I feel better. That was like my own little personal therapy session there. So that brings us to the brawlers who got over 100 votes, and there are 13 of them. Now, coming in with 121 votes is Charlie. And yeah, I get it. Being trapped in a cocoon for five seconds, that's not fun. And the next brawler at number 12, I totally understand. It's Squeak. He is extremely annoying. His ability to just like choke lanes with his main shot and where you're pretty much left with two options, either sit there and wait or take damage and walk through it. But if you wait, well, then he's just going to sit there and spam that one shot. You're going to be waiting forever. He's going to keep it blocked. And that's 128 votes. Well deserved. Now, coming in as the 11th most annoying brawler in Brawl Stars is Mortis. And honestly, I don't think he's that annoying. I mean, he's not a very good brawler. And while, yeah, some players can just go completely go crazy with him, for the most part, he's kind of a trash pick and really not that annoying to me. Now, that being said, if you're saying the randoms who play Mortis are annoying, then yeah, 
I feel you on that one. Okay, so the top 10 most annoying brawlers in Brawl Stars. In at number 10 with 191 votes is Cordelius. I do indeed find him annoying as well, although he's not as bad as he used to be. However, the non-stop Shadow Realms where all you can do is just basically run away and hide behind a wall and then his gadget could just jump over the wall and you can do nothing. Yeah, I get this one. But the next brawler, I really don't understand. With 293 votes is Piper. And yeah, I gotta be honest, I don't see this one. I mean, yeah, her shots do a ton of damage, but her reload speed's pretty slow. Like, seriously, tell me in the comments, why is Piper so annoying? I'm not getting it. Now at number eight on the list, I think that you all might have some residual PTSD. And that's Kit. Now that being said, I do totally get like, when he jumps on you when you're about to do something, you're like, ah, oh, come on, man. Or when he uses his gadget and like, goes invisible and sneaks up on you, that is pretty annoying. Or like when he becomes basically invincible and gets on someone's back and you can't really do anything about it. Okay, you know what? <laughs> now that I'm saying all this, you guys are right. Kit is pretty dang annoying, but not as much as brawler number seven on this list, who is my personal favorite brawler in the game. And that's Crow. Crow got 390 votes here, which is like three and a half percent. And you all know that I love Crow, but honestly, I don't blame you. I'm with you on it. Crow is extremely annoying to play against. His shots just like keep trickling damage, just like poking you. They don't really hurt that bad. It's just super annoying. But if you try to fall back, it's like every crow knows that like instinctively you have to follow that person to the ends of the earth and just keep hitting them with those little daggers and they can't ever heal up just dagger after dead yeah you know what i get it and honestly i'm surprised he's not higher than number seven now at number six with 437 votes is one of the most overpowered brawlers that we've had in the game for a while that is fang and he just got nerfed multiple times and he is still freaking strong as heck i mean he just sits back there kicking his shoes at how many shoes does this guy have he's got like a foot locker that he owns or something i don't know and then out of nowhere just bam your entire team dead and then if he has his hypercharge and it's near the end of the game i mean you know you're gonna lose all he has to do is press his little purple button and then spam his super your entire team's wiped out and the game's over yeah annoying indeed but another one that i don't really get here is at number five coming in with 487 votes is dynamite dynamite strong yes but annoying but i guess all throws are a little annoying and mike does have that stupid stun gadget that's certain death and then his super where if you're not expecting it and you don't see it coming you're like well i guess i'll die now so yeah i do understand a little but more annoying than crow and squeak but this is where this list takes a turn because the top four brawlers i guarantee you have been responsible for hundreds if not thousands of broken phones out there and the first offender here is miko it's like i get it bro you're so good you hopped in position behind a wall and if i even get close to you you're just gonna spam auto aim four times and i'm gonna die and then if i don't you're just gonna spam that one gadget and you're gonna finish me off it's like you're so good man i'm so proud of you i'm a little salty right now not gonna lie that being said it's not like he's like a really great brawler i mean he's not bad but it's not like he's fang or something but yeah no i'm with you guys miko got like 990 votes and honestly I still think that's too low. Now, the number three most annoying brawler in Brawl Stars is one that everyone loves to hate. And I think that all I have to do is show you this pin, and you know who I'm talking about. With 1,212 votes, the third most annoying brawler in Brawl Stars is Edgar. Now, I have seen and I've played against some players who are actually really skilled with the Edgar. And I'm not going to say it takes zero skill to play, but the problem is... You can be sleepwalking and play Edgar to 90% of his ability. Like once you get your super, you just jump on the nearest squishy target and spam auto aim. However, what I think makes Edgar even worse is the non-stop thumbs down and the spinnings. Like, is this in the like the unofficial Brawl Stars guide or something like it says in there? If you play Edgar, you have to be as toxic as possible. Pretty sure that's in the manual. So that leaves two brawlers left. On one hand, we have a really annoying brawler who throws his mines nonstop all over the field. And if you get too close to him, he'll just pop a shield, knock you back, and probably pull off his head and blow you up. You don't even really play against Tick because you can't really get to him. You just basically suffer him the entire match. And then on the other hand, we have one of, if not the most broken brawler to ever come into the game with Larry and Lori. Now, yeah, I think that you're all scarred from three solid weeks of playing against this brawler and getting destroyed. However, only one of these brawlers can be crowned the most annoying. 
Tick got 1,759 votes, which is a lot. However, Larry and Lori, they raked in 25% of all of the votes with 2,773 votes, meaning that these evil twins are indeed the most annoying brawler in Brawl Stars. <laughs>